What is up, Turtle Squad? Oh, I guess I should. Maybe we should do the intro first, right? What is up, Turtle Squad? Welcome back to Black Turtle Garage. Uh, today is going to be a really cool show. Um, I got this done a little bit sooner than I thought I would. So we're going to go ahead and do a reveal. The last video you guys saw, um, so this is on my note prep build, which is my Proline Barracuda body that I got for Christmas, uh, thanks to my wife, my number one sponsor in uh, 2021. Uh, just kidding. My wallet's my main sponsor. Wife is number two. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and show you guys what we've done to it so far. It isn't fully done. It still needs to be wired up. But I thought I'd give you guys an update and show you guys the paint. So uh, it's not going to be fully running today. That's going to be the next video. We're also going to have some running video for you guys as well. Uh, but today we're just going to show you all the parts that have come uh, and give you an update as to what else is missing. And then we'll just go ahead and give you guys the running video next week as well. Or next video. I don't know if it's going to be next week because shipping. But all this stuff should be coming in tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. Uh, they'll be here Wednesday and probably installed that same night. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. So you guys know I'm a sucker for the theatrics. So I went ahead and um, put my little velvet cover. If you guys might remember this cover from the JJ Customs reveal of the Porsche, which you can't really see in the video right now. But we're going to go ahead and show you guys. Probably get some cute little B-roll uh, going. But... We've got, let's see, boom. Uh, so this is the Proline Barracuda body from Proline Racing, painted up by myself. All the decals are included in the package. Uh, some things that I've added to the body itself are going to be a full race ready purple painted roll cage. Check out the driver's side. Uh, and that's going to be from Fused RC as well as, if you see in there, we've got lights for the front and lights for the rear for the brake lights. Uh, those are all going to be uh, from my third channel controlled. No, they're not going to, uh, the brake lights aren't going to come on when the brakes come on. But that's simply because it's not something that I was looking for. This is just more for the aesthetic so that when I'm night racing, I can go ahead and uh, uh, just, you know, put some light on them. And it's going to be really bright light. Uh, that kick is also available from Lit LED. The... Uh, link to Lit LED's face up will be in the description below. Um, with that, let's take a look at this chassis. So, the only things that are really different from last time, um, we do have a Lit LED light controller, which is going to be a third channel controller, allowing you to turn the uh, lights on and off. Um, there's also a couple different settings as well, like flashing lights, things like that that you can control from your radio. Uh, it's all really easy to program, just plug and play. One of the reasons that I go with Lit LED anytime I need uh, some lighting uh, necessities. But since the last time um, we did have these mounts. I don't know if we installed them last time, but we have the extended body mounts for the rear uh, and for the front. And these are going to be from McAllister Racing for the DR10. Um, I also have a, an ESC uh, electronics tray there in the front. Uh, that's that's from Sagan Manufacturing. I'm going to go ahead, as always, put links down below. Um, for our ESC, we are going to be running uh, hobby wing quick run system and this is just something that I had uh, going in we're gonna be running a spectrum radio for now I am working on a deal to try and get a new race ready radio hopefully before King of the Streets um, we've got a Reefs RC 422 HD uh, servo in here that's gonna be powering uh, giving us that turning ability uh, something that's new to me um, and it's kind of funny thinking of all the years that I've been in RC. I'm not really sure why this is the first time that I've ever ran one of these uh, motors. I have had the opportunity to run them before. It just hasn't been um, in the cards, I guess. There's nothing against this. Um, I'm actually finding that they're really nice, uh, really nice, good quality. Um, and I don't really need to say that because most people that know this brand. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So we are running a Teak and Racing. 13.5 motor and again guys this is going to be my scale class 13.5 drag car this is by no means my street eliminator car this is by no means meant to be uh you know quote unquote king of the streets winner i'm not even competing in the race right now but um we will be building a car to take out there um this will be running at the grudge races the night before 
uh, King of the Streets, as well as my Street Eliminator build, if I can get it built up in time uh, and tested and tuned. So we will be running that grudge race the night before, and if there are you know participants that drop out and our waitlist number gets called up, then we will go ahead and uh, run King of the Streets. But this is going to be my Street Eliminator build to get me going back on the top 10 list here in California. Uh, and then we'll get our Street Eliminator build next. Um, and probably going to be running full Teak and Electronics in that. Just because of all the cool stuff that they're coming out with right now. Uh, new software for their ESCs that's very drag specific. Um, a lot of the Teak and drivers are already testing those. Um, I'm hearing a lot of good things so far. But yet to see... Uh, to have it in my own hands. Um, it's between them and another company uh, for what I run, but more than likely I will be running Teak and Racing for the 2021 year, not as a team driver, not sponsored by it in any way, just as a personal preference to try and personal preference to try and be the fastest uh, that I can be. And I think that's probably going to be the setup that gets me there. A couple more details that I don't think we mentioned on the uh, on the previous video, I am running 2.2 crawler beadlocks on this car uh, with Proline Prime front tires just because they were already mounted on there. Um, I might be swapping those out to some Hoosier Treaded tires. And then I've got in the rear Proline Pomona and Proline Reaction uh, wheel and tire combo, which is uh, pretty much been a solid combo for me in any race car that I've had since this has come out. Um, I will be trying out some new, uh, not new, but new to me tires for the 2021 season but i'm pretty much going to be sticking with proline there again no sponsorship no team driver here is just a matter of preference and what i think is going to make me the fastest driver out there so um that's going to be the update for this uh this car itself let me go ahead and show you some some this day's kind of crappy outside but i'm going to go ahead and show you some outdoor video uh and try to get this car uh in all its beauty outside so stay tuned for that and i'll catch you guys in the next one guys Peace.